good morning student today we start exercise 5.5 and this exercise is about what problem uh, and here we uh, uh, we use all the um, formulas and uh, lcf and lcm uh, how to find lcf and lcm okay so finding lcm and LC, lcf and lcm in what problems okay this is the what problem so let we start with the first question of exercise 5.5 that is it is given to us uh, if you have your book you can see it there question is the scf and lcm of two numbers are 48 and 288 288 respectively one of the number is 144 find another number we have to find another number one number is given to us that is 144 and we have to find another number and here so uh, if we go to the formula here in the next page we have you can see here set the product of two number is equal to the product of SCF and LCM okay that means if we multiply uh, two numbers uh, you can see here suppose these are two numbers if you multiply 10 and 15 how much you get 150 and if you multiply SCF and LCM then also you get 150 okay means that if you multiply these two we get 150 and if you multiply 5 and 30 then again we get 150 okay so they are equal so if we know the product and we have to find any number between them then we have to divide so look here how do we go first of all we have to write we have to write this language so SCF of two numbers given 48 LCM of two numbers given 288 we have, we have write one of the number that is the first number is 144 so SCF into LCM okay SCF into LCM equals to product of two number okay so what I write here second number okay because first number we know so second number equal to how much SCF into LCM why because this is the uh, this is equal to product of two number okay so here I am uh, here I explain that product of two number means uh, again I explain suppose suppose uh, you know 8 for the so product of 8 and 4 is 32 so 32 is given to us okay and uh, and it divide by suppose 4 if we di divide 30, uh, 32 by 4 then how much we get 8 okay if we divide by if we divide 32 by 4 then we give divide, uh, we get 4 8 okay so like this only so uh, so product of two number okay product of two number that is equal to the lcf into lcm so that's why we directly write because we are not knowing the product of two number okay so we write in the place of product of two number we write lcf into lcm why because they are equal so scf into lcm is divided by the first number okay because first number is known to us so here first of all i write 48 into 28 is divided by 144 so we have to multiply this so i do multiplication here in the rough work okay so when we uh, when you multiply how much we get one thirteen thousand eight hundred twenty four so uh, here we write thirteen thousand thirteen thousand eight hundred twenty four is divided by one forty four so when we divide it we get ninety six so here I have divided here uh, this is our rough work and here we divide one forty four nine ten one hundred one thousand two hundred ninety six and then we get two eighty four as a remainder then again at the six times. 244 6 time 144 6 time how much you get 864 so remainder is 0 so our answer is 64 so here we write hence second number is 96 so you know uh, you keep in your mind that when we solve the word problem we have to write language okay without language it is not possible to, uh, to solve the word problem okay now question number two so look question number two here question number two is the product of two number is 600 the lcm is 60 find their scf okay so here two number is given product two number is given to us and lcm is given to us okay then we have to find scf so here we go product of two number is 60 600 okay and lcm is 60 so as we know that scf into lcm equals to product of two number as we are not knowing the LCM and LCF, the product of LCM and LCF. So what we do here? So this is equal to this one. 
this one is equal to product of two number means SCF into LCM equal to product of two number so we write in the place of SCF and LCM SCF into LCM we write product of two number is divided by LCM why because we know we are knowing LCM so it is 600 divided by 60 that is 10 so here I have doing the LC, uh, division you can see check here 61 is 60 and then zeros come down here so 60 zero the zero is come down here nothing now third question question number three find the largest number of divides 280 and 490 without leaving a remainder so before we discuss this question we have to uh, recall the concept of factor and multiple and SCF and LCM also so what is a factor factor is a num number we divide the given number okay which divides the number okay so factor is the number which divides a number completely suppose if i say 2 is a factor of 20 then 2 divides 20 exactly okay and scf what is the SCF? Uh, scf that means uh, suppose uh, here i am giving the example suppose i have explained about factor factor is are those number which divides a number exactly so i give that Two suppose two divides, uh, two divides twenty exactly that is a ten time. Okay. Now what is SCF? So whenever we talk about SCF or LCM, then uh, you have to keep in your mind that SCF and LCM always we find in two number or more than two number. Okay. So the largest common factor. Okay it means that among the two number or among the two or more than two number what, uh, which are the common uh, which uh, which factor is common between them highest common factor that is known as scf okay that a largest common a largest number which divides that number exactly okay so you have to keep this thing in your mind okay factor means a number which divides a number uh, a given number or number exactly okay so i have given a suppose uh, five, if i say the five is a factor of 500 that means five divided 500 exactly okay now we go ahead question number three find the largest number which divides 280 and 490 without leaving a remainder that means we have to find a number which divides both of these two okay so which divides means the question asks us that we have to find factor factor only divide these two and largest number means that scf the largest factor of these two common factor which divides both of them without leaving any remainder so let's we go here so look how to go how to solve this question largest number that divides 280 and 490 without leaving remainder is their scf so let's we have to do the prime factorization method this is very easy and uh, we are not making any mistake here so we go with 2 always we have to start with 2 because 2 is the smallest prime number okay after 2 we go with 3 so we, there is no chance to go with 3 or 70 then go with 3 then we go with uh, i think uh, we have to go with 5 so here we go with 5 uh, 2 then 35 we get then we go with 5 we get when we get here prime number we have to stop okay then 240 again we go with 2 then 5 then 7 then 7 we get here prime number in this uh, here in the uh, in this uh, place so we stop now we have to take out the common numbers common prime number here 2 5 and 7 in scf only we have to consider only prime common numbers okay we are not considering the other rest numbers okay the other rest uh, factors so here 2 2 for 2 2's we write 2 here 2 5 we write 5 and 2 7's we write 7 2 into 5 into 7 that is 70 so 70 divides 280 and 490 without leaving remainder okay without leaving remainder uh, uh, 70 divides these two numbers okay i have to understand this uh, you have to practice this thing a lot and you have to you, when you read the question and solve the question be careful and read attentively okay so we go ahead here again question number four find the largest number that divides 232 and uh, 157 leaving remainder of seven okay means that we have to find the largest number we divide these two and it leaves remainder as a seven so 
uh, here how to solve this question first of all I have to give uh, I give you some example to understand this question suppose if we divide 12 by 5 how much we get we get 2 as a remainder okay if we subtract 2 from 12 we get 10 and again if we divide 10 by 5 there is no remainder why we are doing this so uh, so that we can find SCF SCF means uh, so in this question it is asking that we have to find the largest number we divide that means SCF it is asking because this is same as question number 3 we divide means factor and largest number means SCF okay the, when we are uh, ask, uh, talking about SCF then we have to we have we have make that we have to make sure that remainder is always zero in SCF okay factors always divide exactly so first of all we have to, sub, uh, we have to uh, subtract 7 from the given number both number first number we get 225 and second number we get 150 we are finding the area as uh, prime factorization here and you can see here then we have to common out the 3 5 and 5 so SCF equals to 3 into 5 into 5 15 15 times 75 so 75 divides 232 and 57 157 leaving remainder as 7 we again you don't write this one okay 225 because if we add 225 there is uh, the remainder is 0 if we add 232 then remainder is 7 okay so that's all for today in our next class i discuss 5.5 from question number 5 to 8 that's all for today thank you